Welcome back to the channel everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Turbo Build. Okay, well here's some of the attempt of welding here on the uh, manifold. Not the easiest thing to do, so what I'm going to try to do now is I'm going to preheat um, and do another pass here. Uh, these have been flap wheeled down, of course. So I find with my welding skills it's hard to keep heat in the cast steel while uh, not blowing holes in the 16 gauge tubing. So let's try a little bit of heat now with a propane torch. Definitely not a welder, but it's coming. A little flap wheel action and we can make that look a little prettier. That's like the second pass, still trying to get some heat uh, in the cast steel manifold. Playing with wire speed, playing with voltage, all that kind of stuff, but uh, I'm gonna flap wheel that down and I'll show you what they look like. Well, here you are, the welds are dressed and these may be two of the ugliest manifolds you've ever seen. I hope they work. Definitely not a welder. This one was a challenge. But let's fit them on the car now and see what we got to work with here. One of the things I do want to do though is uh, I'm going to cut these. These aren't actually going to curve like this necessarily. I'm going to cut them about an inch away and I'm going to dress the inside of the piping. I don't want any marbles or any welding slag or anything like that to actually get sucked into the turbo or blown into the turbo for that matter. So I'm going to cut those off and we'll put them in the car and we'll start playing with where the V-band is going to go. Okay, we're back on the car now and hopefully this isn't going to be too wobbly. I want to move this pipe so I'm not interfering with the heater hose connections here. I said earlier that uh, I could tap these and block them off or whatnot, but I think I can do this properly. So I have to cut these back so I can go inside and dress the inside anyways. This piece here, this curve here was just what I had lying around. I'll probably reuse that V-band and maybe this curve will come in you know, handy somewhere else, but I'm gonna cut this off. So I think if I cut this off somewhere up in here, then I can start routing this down below the heater hoses. So that might be work really well. And let's go take a look at the other side. Okay, here we are on the other side. And again, there's a little bit of contact with the power steering line there, that braided line. That can move a little bit, but I have lots of space or lots of length here to reroute this. So I'm probably gonna cut this right right here where that weld is 
that gives me lots of space, lots of room to angle it down a little bit around or away from that braided line there for the power steering pump. And then I can clean up the welds on the inside and make sure there's nothing that's gonna get ingested by the turbo. Okay, so here's a little trick that I saw on the YouTubes before. If you wanna make a nice straight cut, get yourself a zap strap, run it around your pipe or your tubing, and then simply mark it. Like such. Now, of course, I've got two smaller zap straps because I don't have a longer one, but this is the idea here. Okay, well, I managed to uh, angle that and shorten that turn down there with the V band flange. So now I should have ample space for my heater hoses. I'll probably wrap that section of the exhaust manifold, anyways, and uh, keep the heat away from the heater. So that's looking all right. Let's see what else we can do here. And the next plan of attack here will be to use this piece, which has a nice tight radius bend, and I'll connect that up to my V-band here. And then right around where that heat shield area is there, I'll cut it off, use some more of the 90 degree, or the bends of this existing pipe, and I'll run that into the merge here, and I'll start to uh, form the piping that goes into the, the T4 flange. Okay, well things are starting to come together. Now we've got to root it underneath the heater hose fittings and underneath the thermostat housing and the lower rad hose. And we're going to go into our merge here. Let's get a better look on the other side. So I have this piece just sitting in here, but I think we're gonna merge in here somewhere. Now I've got a bit of a piece of the old merge I might actually use. This is gonna be challenging, fabbing up all this. I think what we'll do is we'll remove the turbo now and we'll tack some things in place and we'll look at creating that merge. Then we'll start working on feeding in the driver side. So now I've got the turbo off and I've got that pipe tacked into the merge here so you can get a better idea of what I'm doing. Uh, I put the exhaust manifold gaskets in because I want everything to be exactly the right spot. And the next step will be trying to fix up this merge here. So here you can see it's just sort of tacked in. It'll go around the other side there. And there you go, it's tacked into the merge. So I didn't weld this piece here yet because I wanna take the merge and the brace off the head and weld everything up, shape it all, and add the other tube for the driver's side. So this is gonna take a little bit of work. We're gonna start on that next. Here's a look inside. I think I matched up everything pretty good. It's actually sitting in the car like this. And I think I can form this. I'll tack on the inside a little bit here. And then what I'll probably do I'll cut this weld and I'll kind of shape that in, but we're working on it. So this is gonna be start at the first part of the merge and then I'm actually gonna cut straight down here and merge the other pipe in. So that's gonna be the challenge and they're gonna have this radius here, but working on it. Well, after a lot of, uh, let's say, butchery, here's my turbo merge. Definitely horrible welds. I apologize to all the welders out there. Probably too much wire, I don't know. Still trying to figure it out. Um, yeah, inside, it's kind of upside down. I'll dress the inside, I'll get a flap wheel for my die grinder, and I'll work on that. But that is essentially what it's gonna look like so let's not pay attention to the bad fab here. Let's see how it fits on the car. And there it's bolted up, so I'll tack that right now, that uh, passenger side. And then we can pull it all off and final weld passenger side. Well, that's it for this video, everyone. 
I'm done for today, but the passenger side is basically mocked up. Now there's a little bit of finish welding left and a little bit of cleanup, but I think it's okay for now. So what I'm gonna do on the next video is I'm gonna fab the driver's side. We're gonna continue off the merge here. We're gonna straighten that out and we're gonna run that piece over there. There's a flex coupler that I got um, and a V-band I'm gonna weld in over here. But yeah, things are coming along other than my welding skills. Still struggling with that. I might have to take a welding course. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in. And if you like the content, please subscribe, like, and even share. Hit the notification bell so you see the next video as soon as it comes out. And I promise you, I'll be working on those as fast as I can. So that being said, just remember the best time of the year to enjoy your project car is all year round. Even if you're working on it and trying to figure out fabrication, it's very rewarding in the end of the day to learn something new. And remember, keep the shiny side up. Take care.